Good afternoon to everyone. Good afternoon to everyone. Good afternoon. How are you doing today? I'm half of what she said. So the other half is just make up story between us leaving the upper campus and coming down here. Now the first thing I'd like for you to do for me this afternoon is in the first few seconds, 10, 15 seconds, I want you to write down a goal, a very personal goal of yourself. 15 seconds. Go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Time up. Ten up. Everybody got an opportunity to write down their goal, their personal goal? Let me see the hands of those who didn't get to write down their goal. One? Okay, take two more seconds. One, two. <laughs> I need five brave persons to stand up and tell me what goal they wrote down. Five. Thank you, sir. Give them a round of applause. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you very much. Now today, my focus is going to be on goal setting and planning. Um, you, see how, you see how times are changing? I can hear one lovely lady said I have to be married. <laughs> <laughs> we are getting there, we are getting there. Gloria's come first. <laughs> well, to, to be fair to them, they only have families. So I'm sure we have about 10 of them have been inside me and have to be married in the near future. Now can anybody tell me what is a goal? We have approximately 58 minutes and 50 seconds to go. Can anybody tell me what is a goal? Any? Yes. Sorry? A goal is what you want to achieve. Yes. Yes. What is a goal? Okay, wonderful. Yes? Uh -huh. An aspiration in life? Uh -huh. Scientific and steep. Yes. Yes. Somebody else. Anybody else? This is going to be a very interactive session because I'm going to learn from you as much as you're going to learn from me. And I guarantee you that I learn more from you than you'll be learning from me this afternoon. Now what I'm going to do, we're going to look at goal and, and, and planning. The reason why we're going to look at goal is because as young people growing up, you'll find that there are a lot of things competing for your time. And as a result, because your time is finite, you must give priority to those things that matter most. But what I realized is that by setting goals, setting what you call bite-sized goals, you can achieve little by little, and then eventually it will look as a lot. Because one thing I realized is that if I set a big goal, that is impossible. And then we're going to look at it in, in terms of smart, the smart goals objective. If I set a big goal and I don't achieve it, what do you think happens? What do you think happens? When you get disappointed. What, what happens? You feel like a failure. You feel like a failure, yes. And sometimes we have to see ourselves as projects. And so, for example, if you set yourself by the size goal and somebody said you want to be a forensic, you will be a forensic, yeah. And that is a lifetime dream. That is not going to happen when she leaves the college. But then that big dream or that big goal is not going to be chunked down in smaller sizes. So the first thing will be to get your associate degree from State College and then perhaps to get a scholarship to do a master's degree, get some years of experience under your belt, because forensic scientist in accountancy is not something that you just get a title for. It goes with the experience as well, right? And so I realized that time was of the essence and that's why I had to, instead of putting nothing, I had to put all of the things or the things in my life that I wanted to achieve within a short period. What is goal setting? Goal setting, and read with me please, goal setting is? Wonderful. So that takes you from point one of having the dream, which is what everybody just said earlier, having that vision of what you want to achieve in life. And then now you get down to the paper part. You realize, I don't know, how many of you would like to start a business in the next five years? Wonderful. Great. But the thing about it, the idea, I'm sure the ideas are already in your head about what you want to do. How many of you already know what business you want to start? Okay, so we have... Okay, great. Wonderful. But the thing about it is that that business will never get started 
unless you take your ideas and put them on the paper and start to plan, correct? Wonderful. So we must get from goal, which is the idea of the dream, into goal setting, which is the process by which we now motivate ourselves to empower us in the way we need to go. Planning is that you must leave room for errors. And I, did, I, I found this so funny today about this cat on top of the door. And he says, only problem with my plan is if they shut the door. And that's why plans have to be flexible. You can't have them cast in stone because we live in a, in a world of uncertainty. And we must ensure that our plans are flexible so that we don't become disillusioned and disappointed when things don't happen. Because I'm sure many of you would have planned, but nobody planned for Erica because the storm before it was scheduled to arrive and it took the highway. So nobody planned for Erica and Erica came and saved. Okay? So like the gap, we always have to have contingency for any plan that we're going to put in place. Characteristics of goals. Specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. Can anybody tell me why we need to set SMART goals? Anybody? And let me give you why you're thinking about putting up your hands. Let me share with you one experience. I had this crazy math teacher who taught me algebra at the levels. And uh, at that time, we had the kid. You're the kid? No, no, that's the next one. Kid was just introduced. And this guy was the craziest math teacher I ever had. He would just shout on you for nothing. But he was one of the best in the country. And so we had a class about this size, a little bit more. And many times he would write on the board and ask a question, and the whole, the entire class would remain silent. And I would always be the one to raise my hand and say something. And about, probably about 95% of the time I got it wrong. And so I enjoyed the rap, his rap. But he, you know what he told me afterwards, one, one day in the classroom, he said, listen, I applaud your vigor and your enthusiasm. The thing about it is this, there is no stupid question unless it's the one that is not asked. So many times you might be afraid to give an opinion of something because not that we're unsure, but we're so afraid of either being wrong or not, or somebody else not seeing it the way that we see that we don't give up our hands. And what do you find happening? At the time of exams, you're sitting there with yourself and you don't know which one is the correct one because you never chanced it when you have the opportunity. The thing about the SMART goal is that in the first instance, it needs to be specific. It needs to address the what. What is it that you're going to do? Sometimes you may set a goal, we might not highlight what is it we need to do. We set a goal, we need to ensure one that is specific. So we state exactly what is it that we want to do. The next thing, it must be measurable. That means that we must have indices or pointers to tell us exactly how are we going to get there or what pointers we're going to use to show us that we're on track to achieving those goals. Okay? The third thing is but it must be achievable. I know sometimes we can dream really big. Philosophers and scientists tell us to dream big. But then when, because we have finite resources, it's difficult and it can frustrate us. So we want to ensure that whatever goal that we're setting aside, that it's achievable, at least within our time frame. Hopefully, it needs to be relevant. It needs to be something that ties into what you want to achieve in life. The reason why is because if it's not relevant, then the drive that you're going to exercise in achieving those goals might not be forthcoming. And then all of a sudden you ask yourself, you look at your neighbor and you realize your neighbor is achieving stuff, and you're not, but because it's not something that you like. And then it needs to be time-bounded. It needs to have a definite period, a cut-off period by which you, you're going to achieve. Okay? So if you, you, one of you might say, well, I want to get married. Married, then... Um, <laughs> the young lady in front of me, yes. So you, you have one person. What's the book? Is the gentleman in this room? No? It's not here. Sorry, guys. Right. <laughs> Sorry, I'm doing that. Yes. So it needs, to be, it needs to have a finite time. So you need to say, for example, it's going to be in another five years or it's going to be in another ten years. Or else you'll end up chasing it and you'll never achieve it because you've not set yourself. The five steps of plan. The first one 
is to establish strategies. Remember we talked about, we spoke about getting a dream, but the dream only becomes a goal when you take it out of your mind and put it on paper and start planning towards it. So the first thing you want to do is establish strategies. How is it that you're going to get from the dream to the goal to achieving it? The second thing you want to do, as I, I, I spoke to you earlier about the five years, you want to establish a timetable. And so you establish, for example, in the next quarter, this is what I'm going to do. In the next six months, this is what I'm going to do. So you're going to set timetable. Then the next thing you're going to do, assign responsibilities. So if you're working in a group, ensure, especially if you're a group leader, assign responsibilities. But I have good news for you. You don't have to be the leader to be able to lead. Everybody heard me? You don't have to be the leader to be able to lead. Most persons think that leadership is a title. I see it like responsibility. And there's something that I learned that you can actually lead from the back. Or lead from behind. And fourthly, anticipate obstacles. Anticipate that things might not go. There's a, a common expression in economics we call citrus paradox. And that is a key assumption because we are assuming that things are going to remain constant. Because if we don't assume that, then we have all the other uncertainties that can happen. Anything that can go wrong will go wrong. Okay, so you must anticipate obstacles. So your plan needs to be flexible. Okay? And then lastly, modify the plan if necessary. Many times we are afraid to modify the plan. We've cast it in stone, we've broadcast it to the whole world on Facebook that we're going to get married in 10 That months. is a good one. That is a good one. I was thinking of the same example. <laughs> that is not on you. That is not on you. We've broadcast it to Facebook. Next five months we're going to tie the knot or we're going to get one. And all of a sudden it doesn't happen. But then we saw, because we have 800 friends, we don't want to change our status. So we, so we leave the status there on Facebook or on WhatsApp. And then, but we're disillusioned. Thank you very much for your time. It was a pleasure. The political side. Oh, yes. Is this the inauguration speech? Yes. All right. Good afternoon. Mr. Uh, on behalf of the PDS Trust, Semester 2015, I want to thank you for your enthusiasm today and taking time off from your busy schedule to come and speak to us on the setting. I'm assuming. We, I hope you inspired me because there are some things that I was certain about that I like smack the whole setting. Really thinking of it, you know, in reality, you really get to where it wants to be. So I commend you for that, and you should continue inspiring young minds like myself. Because, well, once again, thank you. Thank you very much. It was very informative. I, the goal setting. Well, before I did, I had a basic idea of what it means, what it means to plan and make goals, but it elaborated in great detail how I supposed to go. But making plans for my life. Anything the mind can conceive that we can achieve. Okay. And I believe that's true because the most powerful tool is your mind. I thought it was very informative. It was very helping to me personally because you said something about in a group you may have an assignment and you know you might be the group, put it together, give up thing, give 100 percent and you might not put it into practicals. And right now I'm actually doing an assignment for business, business plan which makes me think about going to put that business into practice because I don't think anyone in Dominica has any business like that. The smart goals and objectives I think it's very good because it shows me how to properly put down my plan, how to establish my thoughts, so it helped me out very, very much. <coughs> it was a very good presentation and I think I won't put anything from it because it was really inspiring to my life. I think my goals, I think I can achieve them now and how I can achieve them and steps and how I can actually go about Get into it, I want to I the I'm a young singer, um, a young rapper, and because show me you know, planning you know and stress, making your goals. Exactly Don't let me get to my goal in life. Which I don't know if I'm with plan. smart planning and okay. goal setting and all that. I'd always want to be strategic, strategic in life. Mm -hmm. But the way you thought it was, it me. And I wish you come again to talk about something else. Very inspired by the entire presentation today. I was most inspired by the subject of smart goals. 
because during my school life I have been always been questioned about my choice of, of career mm -hmm. that I to, that I should um, pursue and I've been, always been told to get into sciences and stuff and I know that I'm good in the sciences but I don't want to do it so I've been always facing different obstacles and so on but I, because of smart goals now I know exactly I have a, an exact plan to look at and how I should deal with those kind of situations so it gives me more confidence in myself uh, when you talk about how we can involve your team come mainly during high school when you had a group assignment I was mainly the person who did everything most of the people they just say they because I'm a film, they will do all the work. So then I found so that can find a way to get everybody to do the work, not only delegating the roles and making sure they do it, or going to other people that are actually willing to do the work. Okay. The so you're going to learn how to delegate responsibility as a leader yes. and not just do it because you're the only one. Not necessarily that you're the only one, but that you're the one that is most interested in getting it done. Yes. Okay. The session was very interactive, it was very informative, it was lively, it wasn't boring. I mean, the students were very engaged. You touched a lot of them in terms of because you have a very good personality, you know, so you were able to reach them. I think they understood very well the importance of goal setting and why goal setting is important for their, for their, for their future. The session was on time, it was timely, it was timely for them because many of the students, um, they come to college and they do not have a plan for their lives, they do not oh, know yeah. where they're yeah. going, what yeah. they want to do. Mm -hmm. So then what I'm trying to do in this class is to ensure that they, at the end of that class they have a purpose. Okay. They have a purpose. They know where they where they're going. What is it they want to do, and how to achieve their their goal in life.